All right, so if you watch some of my original videos here on YouTube when I first started going to reptile shows, a lot of times I'd walk into the show and I would half jokingly say, out of all these snakes here at the reptile show, I don't see one fully aquatic snake. There's no underwater snakes and it's kind of surprised me. As a matter of fact, as I, I kind of joked about it at the beginning and I never really expected to actually see a fully aquatic snake. And believe it or not, I went to one of my favorite reptile stores just last Last week and I saw a totally aquatic underwater snake which is the first time I've ever actually seen it and I did a quick search on Google on my phone I was like you know the banded underwater snake and it looks like they are venomous it kind of surprised me I wasn't sure if there's actually something else besides what I was looking at on Google but you know I'm, I'm almost 100% sure that if I actually walk into the reptile store and they have it in an exoteric cage I can almost guarantee that that snake is is not venomous although I want to be sure to actually ask to make sure that it's not venomous before I actually pick up that snake so what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna drive down to Denver I want to show you that incredible aquatic snake and I actually want to pick it up and handle it and really get a closer look at that fully aquatic snake This is the banded elephant trunk snake. Pretty wild. This is a fully aquatic snake. It's kind of interesting. Let's see if I can pick it up and pull it out. <laughs> All right. I've never actually handled an aquatic snake before. It won't bite me, will it? No. He's oh, behind the filter. Does this filter move? Here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can't get him. Here we go. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. That is wild. Craziest snake I've ever felt. It feels almost like, it feels kind of like what I would think a scaleless snake would feel like. <laughs> That's pretty wild. That's a cool thing. Wow. Does it have uh, gills? <laughs> really? Yeah, you can see it a little bit. So, what do you feed it? Huh? Feeder fish. Feeder fish. Live? Wow. Yeah, if you look in there, there's fish right there. That's cool. Wow, look at his tongue. That's pretty wild. It's almost like split. He's got like a split tongue. That is the coolest snake I've ever seen. 90 bucks, huh? Mmm, tempting. Crazy. I wonder how hard it is to breathe something like this. Really? Make it big? How big do you think you'll get? Six feet. Six feet? A little bit thicker than a colubrid? Wow. Feels like the water's really warm, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. I was bit by my first water snake. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> wow, that's a crazy snake. <sighs> you said this was non venomous, right? <laughs> wow. That is crazy. He scared me more than anything. <laughs> I don't think he broke the skin. That is a really cool snake. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out. I'll give you a quick tour of the store here. This is pretty awesome. You got a bunch of stuff in here. Lots of snakes. Regular snakes.
All right, so there you have it. That is the fully aquatic snake over at 5280 Reptiles. And the funny thing about that snake is when I picked it up, it had a really different feel to it. I'd say it felt completely different than any snake that I've ever held. It almost seemed like it had really fine, really thin scales, and it almost kind of felt kind of maybe halfway between like a regular snake with scales and a scaleless snake. Maybe almost eel-like. <laughs> it was kind of weird. And the funny thing is, is it seemed like it was really friendly until I put it back into that warm water and it started freaking out. I think the transition between the cooler air temperature and that warm water is what really started making it bite everything. I took a bite from it. Luckily, I have no adverse reactions to that snake. I don't even think it broke the skin. I think it freaked me out more than anything because I was getting bit from a snake that I really didn't know anything about. I really haven't studied it and I pretty much took the word from the guy behind the counter that it was wasn't venomous. Luckily, it turned out okay. And 5280 is a pretty cool reptile store. If you haven't been there, you should drop in. They're actually actually expanding, and they have another location that they're trying to set up north of Denver. And I always find it amazing how much stuff they can pack into such a small reptile store. So that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.